you could come up with an entire month's worth of vertical videos to post on social media within an hour. It's as simple as going to a YouTube video, taking the link, copying it, and then going to opus.pro. From here, you're gonna drop in the YouTube link and hit get clips for free. Now I just gotta sit back and let AI do its thing, and then it's gonna send me an email when it's ready to go. So it took about eight minutes and I got the email and now I have 12 different videos all ready to go for social media. The real question is, are these videos actually good? Before I show you what the videos actually look like, it's really important to know who this is gonna work best for. So on their website, you can see that the algorithm works best for videos that are conversation driven, single speaker videos, and longer than 15 minutes. But don't worry, this is still gonna work on a podcast where you have two different people talking to each other and having a conversation. Now you can also use videos that are gonna be shorter than 15 minutes, but they recommend it's longer than 15 minutes because then it has more video and more content for it to sort through to pull more clips out of. So some examples of videos that it's going to work well with are going to be video podcasts, educational videos, commentary videos, product reviews, and motivational speeches. And this is not going to work super well for the person who is trying to repurpose their vlogs or music videos. Now, with that being said, here's basically how the Opus AI works. Here at the top, we can see the first video labeled number one. It gives us a very nice title, and then it kind of tells us why it has a score of 99. And this is called the viral score and the likelihood that this video is going to go viral on shorts, TikToks, and reels. Then here you can just download the video and post it to your social media platforms. Or if you go over here, you can actually edit the clip. And that's what I wanna show you guys some of the customizations, options that you can do inside of here. In the top left-hand corner, we have our caption settings. And this is where we can mess around with some pretty cool stuff. For example, the intro title. If I turn this on, it's actually gonna give me this text right here. It says, maximize your YouTube earnings with insider tips. And this is a cool thing you can do to capture someone's attention in the first few seconds by utilizing this intro title. Now for this video, I actually wanna turn it off. So I'm just gonna click this again and you can see now down here we have all of our captions inside of this video and this is where we're able to go in make any changes you want to make sure that every single word is correct and there's nothing misspelled or mispronounced that picked up on the wrong word so after watching the clip it actually did a perfect job of detecting the words he was speaking and so there's no edits I need to make to this text but if it happens for you all you need to do is hover over the word let's say money is spelled incorrectly once you click on money you you can either go up here to the pencil and you can change this to let's say we want to say moolah and then you hit enter and that's going to update down here so it says how much moolah we have but i'm going to change it back by putting money back in here the other cool thing you can do is change the color of the text to really make this word pop so for example let's say i want to make it green i can just simply hit that or i can make it yellow i can also trash this word by hitting the trash can if i didn't want to do that i'll go ahead and hit this undo button you can customize this even more if you go into preferences once everything is correct and all the captions look good you can go over here and you can actually choose a different caption style on the free version this is the only caption style but if you get the paid version you can actually have custom brand templates that you can build out to make it a lot cooler with different text and different styles but even with the free version you still can choose two different colors to highlight words so if you want to change it from green to red and from yellow to blue you can do that simply by dragging this on the color wheel and then when those words are going to be highlighted you're going to notice they are red and blue now the other cool setting is under layout settings where we have fill and that's going to fill up the entire frame and that's the way i like to do it i think it looks the best you could also go to fit where it's going to take that horizontal video and just show all of it inside of the vertical video and for some use cases this would be super helpful and might work for some of you guys out there but the other option is split and this is when you have two people inside of the frame i actually use this setting on a podcast interview that sean did with with a guest and because we had three different angles when it cut to one angle where there's just one person in the shot it doesn't use the split which is perfect and then when it cut to the wide angle where both of them are in the shot it goes to the split automatically and this is really cool and super helpful and then down here, you also have all uppercase. You can do all lowercase. You also can turn auto emojis on or off. I personally like them on, so I'm gonna leave that checked. Once everything looks good, you're gonna go to save and compile. And this is just gonna save everything for you. It's gonna reload some of these new settings with the new text options. And then once that is done, you can download that video. So buckle your seatbelt. And I'm gonna be revealing how much money we have made at Think Media 
over the past 90 days and some of the insights we've learned from the different types of content that are paying the most. Is this perfect? No, but I do know this is gonna get better and better over time. But one thing I love to do to actually make these way better and actually perform better is by putting them into an editor. I'll download them and then I'll chop it up and I'll take out any pauses, anytime there's an awkward silence. Right now the AI can't do that and I'll just spend a few minutes chopping it up, exporting it, and now I have a way better video with captions that didn't take me long at all to edit. And here's what this video looks like with just a few edits. Don't start for them, start for you. I think this this is something that I struggle with on TikTok right now, actually, because it's a whole new platform, so I can relate in that sense. I think this is a fire YouTube short that's gonna do really well. And if you wanna see more cool AI tools just like this, then we actually have an AI for YouTube guide that you can check out at viralvideobundle.com. And this is gonna come with our YouTube niche finder as well as our YouTube shorts masterclass. Now this bundle is on a huge sale right now, so make sure you check the links in the description and get it before it's gone.